Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Seek for Beauty. My name is Martha and today I want to show you how to cover your dark circles without creasing. I'm super super excited about this tutorial because this is something that I was struggling for many many years. I have dark circles from the age that I can remember myself and lately I also have to deal with fine lines. I'm very insecure about my dark circles and my fine lines. I do anything I can to make them less visible. I finally found the technique that works best for me and I wanted to share this one with you because you might have the same issues and maybe you find this one helpful. I really hope you do. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see all my new videos that I upload every Wednesday and you can also follow me on Instagram to see my everyday posts about skincare, makeup and all the beauty hacks. Step 1. Moisturizer. I already applied my face cream and now I will apply my eye cream. I have my Juliette Armand eye cream. It's very important to keep your under eyes hydrated. Whether you have dry or oily skin, you must use your moisturizer. You want to leave a minute or two for the eye cream to dry and next you want to move to the second step. Step 2. You will need a setting spray. Take your setting spray. I use my Fix Plus. I have the coconut. Take some in your hand and what you want to do is to take it with your ring finger and gently tap the product in your under eye area. You may think this is weird but actually it's a very good hack. It not only helps you to keep the makeup staying in place for longer but it also creates kind of a barrier between your skin and every product you apply on top so this way you will avoid any creasing now you want to wait a minute or two for the setting spray to dry and then we will move on to the next step next step is a corrector if you have darkness under your eyes the only way to cancel out this darkness without leaving your eyes with gray cast is to use a corrector and the only one that i fell in love with from the first time that i used it and it did a great job a great difference is my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It's this little jar. There are two shades of this corrector. I have the medium to deep. They also have a light to medium uh, shade, but this one can match better to my skin tone. The best way to apply this corrector is by taking some product with your ring finger. The warmth of your finger helps the product to blend easily under your eyes. You can also use a brush, but I prefer to do it with my fingers. Now I do have nails, so I just grab some with my nail and then with my ring finger I work the product under my eyes. Now this has a thick consistency so what you want to do is to apply a thin layer and this will do the job but if you apply more than you should it will probably crease under your eyes so be gentle with the product. I really hope you can see the difference not only this cancels my darkness but also gives me this effect of a lifted eye and I also feel like I in this side I can see this line under my eyes it's the bone structure in this side I feel like it kind of lifts the area and makes my under eye look more plump I don't know if you understand what I mean but I really hope that you can see the difference so this is what my eyes look with the corrector only. What I like to do is to allow some time for the product to settle into my skin. Then I do my foundation. I avoid the eye area because I think that the less products I use under my eyes, it's the less possible to create any creasing and texture and looking cakey. So I will jump off the camera to apply my foundation and I will be back to apply my concealer. Foundation is on and we're moving on to the next step to conceal our eyes. For the next step we have the concealer. I personally like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I do have the shade Biscuit 
but this is a little bit darker that I would use right now. This one is great for me during summer. Now I've already ordered a lighter shade, but for the sake of this video, I will use this one. What I wanted to tell you about the concealer is that when you have darkness under your eyes and you want to cover as much as possible, you want to choose a shade that is closer to your skin tone. The best thing to do is to go one to two shades lighter to the shade of your foundation. I'm making sure that our corrector has not settled into our fine lines. I'm just gently tapping with my fingers just to make sure. And I'm taking my concealer and I'm applying a little bit of the product in my inner corner and I'm blending the product with my makeup sponge from Real Techniques. I love this sponge. So I'm gently tapping the product. If you do have a lot of creasing, a lot of fine lines just under your eyes, you may want to apply your concealer as low as possible just to cover the darkness and avoid bringing the concealer all the way up to your lower lash line. So again, in the other eye, I'm taking just a few dots. At this point, I already have uh, cancelled any darkness and concealed my under eyes. It's a little bit darker than the shade that I would choose right now. If you want to add a little bit of brightness, you can also use a lighter shade of concealer. I will just use a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in a lighter shade just to give an extra brightness under my eyes. I will not use any of this concealer uh, in the area where I do have fine lines. I will just apply a little bit of this product in the areas where I want to be more bright and I'm working with my Real Technique sponge again. This step was very optional, just in case you want something brighter, you can go ahead and use a second concealer. If I had a lighter shade of my NARS concealer, I would just use that one and that would be fine. And then moving on to setting our under eyes. Once again, make sure your under eyes is smooth and no product is settled into your fine lines and then you go to set them. To set my under eyes, I will use my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I'm taking the RT402 setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm taking just a little bit of my product, tapping all the excess. I don't want to bake, I just want to set my under eyes and what you want to do is to gently tap your under eyes and this was the final step on how to cover your under eye circles without creasing. Now I will zoom you in to see how my under eyes look at this stage and then I will finish the rest of my makeup and I will be back to show you the final look. So I have zoomed in so you can see how my under eyes look. No dark circles, everything is concealed, no creasing. Of course I do have fine lines, I'm 32, I grow up so I have to accept them. But so far this is the best technique that I've tried and it works wonders and your eyes will stay like this pretty much during the whole day. I just finished the rest of my makeup and this is the final look. As you can see there are no dark circles, no creasing, everything is perfect. I really hope you get to try this technique and let me know guys what you think if it worked for you. If you also have any friend who struggles with the dark circles, please share this video with them. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. This would mean so much to me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see my new videos that I upload every Wednesday. Thank you all so much for watching and see you in my next video.